is it better to do surgery earlier, like before the damage occurs, or to wait until there's damage um, so there's more of a reason for surgery? And I'm kind of wondering how that's impacted by insurance as well. That's a great question. So timing of surgery um, is really, to be dead honest with you, um, we don't have all the answers right now. Um, and that's a really big push. In fact, we're um, really trying to get some funding to answer that question super well and really do that through the patient lens like we've all been talking about. So, you know, unfortunately, again, that's one of the other things that right now is driven more from the healthcare profession and insurance side that you mentioned. Um, when do you qualify? You know, when are you coming to the orthopedic surgeon in the progression of disease to even consider all that? Um, and I think we got to do a lot better. So if I had to just give you a short answer, it would be I don't know. Um, but what I would say and to consider in all of that is kind of what we've talked about already is, you know, what are the goals and what's the primary problem? So again, I think the best way for me to explain this part to you is to say, is the primary problem that you're having pain or function or both? And is it one really specific thing that you're limited in? Is it work or is it just one sport? Because those are all things that are gonna say like, is it better for me to change that component? Um, can I do a different type of job? Or am I willing to give up that sport and shift to another one? I mean, honestly, the most common example of that is people that are passionate about running versus can we get that same fulfillment with you swimming or riding a bike if we can honestly you probably can push off the, the artificial joint replacement at least 10 15 20 years but some people are saying that's my life if i can't run i am not happy that destroys my quality of life literally okay so that's part of the decision making process and that's why i say you know it has to be patient specific and we have to listen first to say like, what are those goals and what are those requirements? So there's things we'd love and there's things we have to have um, in terms of just, you know, our, our lives, our lifestyles, um, our, our obligations and priorities. So yeah, I think that's, that's a big um, decision. And I think unfortunately we in the, especially in the orthopedic side of the equation right now, too many times we say, and it's really kind of a, put it back on the patient thing because we don't want to decide for them. You'll know when it's time. So to tell you how prevalent that is in, in osteoarthritis is that's actually the name of the study, the proposal that we're trying to do to determine type and timing of surgery. The study is called You'll Know When Study um, because that's just what we hear from patients when we actually do listen. And they say, but I don't know, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm coming to see you, right? For you to tell me when it's time. But unless we go through all of those components and say, you know, like based on your goals, your requirements, your expectations, your lifestyle, and you know, are you willing to take the time for recovery, rehab, all that kind of stuff, we can intervene. And it is different for someone. So, so, so someone younger may need surgery sooner, depending on all those factors. When most of the time we just make it age-based, which, which is not really right. You know, we'd all like to push it off as long as we can, but that's not always the case. And then I just have to say at the end, you know, again, that's just really talking about the traditional artificial knee, hip, ankle, shoulder replacements, because those definitely do have a limited lifespan and a limitation on activity levels afterwards. If you want it to last and function as long as possible, you have to change your lifestyle, okay? And no matter whether you change your lifestyle or not, they are limited. I mean, man-made materials wear out. Um, and so that's all going to be a factor into helping decide of that. As we move now toward more biological solutions, that dynamic changes. And so when we have to put that in this decision-making process, if you will, and say like, one, is that an option for you biological? Is that an option for you? Um, and then where would that fit into the equation if we can?